In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look together at the power of using the cropping tool inside PowerDirector. The tendency sometimes is to think that the images have to be perfectly cropped before they get into PowerDirector. But let me show you some advantages of using the internal tool. I'm going to take this image of a bridge and drag it onto track number one. And here we have a pretty common reality. I have a picture. It's a great picture. I may want it for the background of my 16 by 9 project, but the problem is the proportions are off. Now the temptation is simply to go ahead, take the corners, and you can do that, and drag the image to, to resize it so it fits right over uh, my uh, particular background. And I can make it bigger one one little piece at a time until I have it fully covering the screen. And it takes a while to do that because you have to change uh, change it one piece at a time. I often have to move over to the upper right and upper left because I have some constraints here. And it's a mess. So I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to undo all that. Okay, I'm back to my original image. Let me show you a much easier way than simply stretching this image. We're going to use the cropping tool. Now with the image highlighted, I'm going to take uh, this icon above the toolbar, uh, which is my crop, and this gives me several options. It understands the aspect ratio of my project, so right now it defaults to 16 by 9. But I could crop in a 4 by 3 ratio if I wanted to, a 9 by 16, a 2 by 1, I could use freeform or I could customize the actual uh, proportions of the crop. Let me leave it back on 16 by 9. So what I'd like to do here is all I need is to figure out what part of the image I want. I can change the actual uh, uh, dimensions and we see these width and height of numbers pixels change as I do that. And so if I like it like that, I will just click on OK. And now it creates a second image that is 16 by 9. It puts it in my media room. And now that's my default image here. I didn't have to do anything else to the image. No stretching, no shrinking, nothing like that. And now it perfectly fits in my 16 by 9 project. Really nice. Uh, let's look at a different example here on the timeline. I'll drag down this picture of this young woman. I like the picture, but again, I've just got uh, too much greenery above her head. So I'll click on the crop tool. Again, I can choose the proportions. Let me do a free form in this case. I can make it any size I want now. And uh, we'll go up here. And we'll come down to here. That looks pretty good. I'll click OK. And now I have this image that I can use. Again, once it's cropped, I can still resize it without changing it and put it anywhere I want to in my project. Uh, but I, it doesn't touch the original image. It just gives me a second one that is cropped or adjusted any way I want. So the cropping tool is a very simple tool, but it's nice because it means I don't have to have all that work done in an image that I find in my project or I don't have to go out to Photoshop or related product in order to get an image to do what I want it to do inside PowerDirector. Nice little tool uh, for images in PowerDirector.